All right, guys, so from now on, the budget edition of Setup Auras will have an actual budget. Let's say around $1,500, which isn't too much considering it includes the price of the PC as well. Uh, this way, there isn't any arguments in the description section and everyone is on the same page of what budget actually means. But yeah, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Setup Auras episode 165 budget edition where you submit your desk setup. If you guys wanna participate, make sure to watch the video link down below. But yeah, with that said, let the Setup Auras begin. Huge thanks to Dashlane for sponsoring today's video. Dashlane is the password manager that keeps track of all your passwords in one place. I have over a hundred different accounts that I use and Dashlane removes the stress of having to remember the passwords of each one of them. I used to use other password manager services before but I like using Dashlane more because it's a lot more user friendly and I like the password generator feature. I'm able to seamlessly autofill all of my credentials safely as well as valuable information, making shopping so much easier online. And just for my subscribers, you can get Dashlane Premium free for 30 days by using my link below. And if you end up keeping it, make sure to use my code TechSource to get 10% off. Kicking off the episode is a 15 year old from London and his setup for video editing and gaming. He did manage to fit two 24 inch Asus monitors under his budget alongside a Cooler Master, Master Keys, Light Keyboard and Mouse Combo. It looks like the desk is from Ikea and it's the popular Carbly countertop being supported by two Alex drawers. For audio, he's using a pair of Logitech Z333 speakers and that's pretty much it for the surface. I do like that he tied the cables together using some Velcro, although I'm kind of concerned about the amount of slack he has left for his mouse. The cables are managed well underneath the desk using cable clips and a few cable sleeves to hide the wires. Not a bad job. I also see that he hooked up an SD card reader and a USB hub for easy access. The PC powering the setup is located on the ground, unfortunately, and it's got the Ryzen 7 1700 8 core processor. We got 16 gigs of RAM and the ASUS Strix 1050 Ti. There's definitely some bottlenecking with this configuration, but a simple GPU upgrade later on can fix that, so it's not a big deal. I just wish the PC wasn't on the ground because it's such a clean build. I feel like if you pushed everything slightly to the left, you would have plenty of space on the right for the PC. It's interesting to see that he would rather have his setup centered than having the PC on the desk. In total, this setup cost Ben a little over $1,500, but excellent work keeping everything clean and organized. Up next is Brandon from Indiana and his super clean setup that he uses for gaming and video editing. So this setup actually has a lot of small modifications done to it, which I will go over in a bit, but let's take a quick look at his gear. So he's got a 23 inch Acer monitor and below that we got the Corsair Strafe Red keyboard and the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectre mouse. It's obvious at this point that he's going with a black and red color scheme. So this is pretty cool, check this out. The monitor riser is made out of Legos and he left some space in the middle to route the keyboard and mouse wired through. Very, very clever. So if you guys are on a budget as well, consider using Legos to build some parts of your setup like Brandon did. For audio, he's using the Dell A225 USB powered speakers and the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset. The speakers are painted, or I guess in his case, colored using a red Sharpie. And the hanger for the headset is some miscellaneous part from his dad's work that he ended up using to hold his headset. The custom PC he's got is a little outdated with the FX6300, 12 gigs of RAM and the MSI GTX 1050 Ti, but I love what he did with the desk. He actually made a cutout in the back, not only for the PC to help exhaust the hot air, but also for the rest of the cables. Doing this, he actually avoided drilling holes in his desk for cable management while keeping a very clean appearance from the front. It's quite genius actually. He hooked up the power strip on the backboard and tied all the cables together, job well done. He even went as far as to sharpie some parts of his PC, including the white parts on the GPU, the white Gigabyte logo on the motherboard, and the stickers on the PSU to keep the black and red theme consistent. You know what, Brandon, I'm really impressed with your setup. You did such a great job with all the mods and you made this setup work with what you got. And I wanna help you out. So if you're watching this video, I wanna give you $100 in cash. And I know it's not a lot, but maybe it can go towards your next upgrade for your setup. So if you're watching this video, toss me an email at setupwords at gmail to claim your prize. Congratulations. Maybe I should call this episode the Teenager Edition. At number three, we have Jake from the UK and another super clean black and red themed setup for gaming, schoolwork, and sometimes editing. We got a 22 inch monitor, the Corsair K55 RGB keyboard, and the Hurali F300, which I recommended in my roundup of the best gaming mice under $20. 
Great choices on the gear, and also great job tying the cables together. I love seeing that. It really does clean up the surface of the desk. Sticking with his budget, he went with the G9000 gaming headset and a toner microphone hooked up to the newer boom arm. He's also able to keep his PC on the desk. Although it's a little outdated, he is planning on upgrading in the near future. However, I do recommend moving your GPU to the top X16 slot when you do get the chance, just to make sure you're getting the most performance possible. For cable management, he did attach the power strip underneath his desk using some 3M tape and he held up the cables using cable clips, so I don't have any complaints here. There's actually been quite the improvement over his last setup. He waited 7 months until his birthday to buy his PC parts and then he had to wait for Christmas to order the rest of the gear for his setup. A very nice upgrade for a very clean setup. Thank you Jake for entering. At number 4 is another budget setup, but this time we got an ultra wide. This is Julian from Germany and his setup for productivity. He's rocking a 34 inch ultra wide from LG and wireless peripherals. We got the Anchor wireless keyboard and the MX Master 2S mouse. It's a very simple setup, not much to it really. We got some Bose Companion 2 speakers and a pair of JBL charge headphones. And since Macs are expensive, Julian built a custom PC with an i5-6500 and a GTX 750 Ti. I'm concerned the PC would interfere with legroom, so I would recommend maybe placing it sideways to give you some extra space. We do have a Signum holding up all the cables and a channel raceway to route the PC wires. Like I said, a very simple yet productive setup from Julian. Thank you for entering. Wrapping up the episode is a laptop setup from Dion, and the purpose of this is for schoolwork, photo editing, and light gaming. We do have a Lenovo IdeaPad 520 with an i7 8550U, 8 gigs of RAM, and the MX150 4 gigabyte graphics card, which is playable in low or medium settings. What I like about the setup is that he installed a wall shelf so that the laptop is eye level, also giving him extra space to keep some of his stuff up here. It also looks like he's sticking with MSI. We have the interceptor keyboard and the mouse, and even an MSI headset that's hanging underneath the desk. He did cut some space behind the wall shelf to route the cables down, and he installed a USB hub so that he can connect his keyboard and mouse, and the rest of the wires are grouped up nicely and routed through a channel raceway. I do love the extra effort he put into this setup. You can really tell he cares about it. It's simple, but it works. Thank you, Dan, for entering. And that does it for this episode of Setup Wars. If you guys enjoyed it, please feel free to drop a like. It does help out the channel a ton. And make sure you guys vote in the comment section on who has the best budget setup. Thanks again so much for watching. As always, I will see your beautiful faces in the next one.